Round 9 sees a return to Lakeside Stadium as South Melbourne hosts Northcote City. And John, this could shape up to be a crucial match for both teams' seasons with a spot in the top five possible after this round for Northcote. And South Melbourne desperately needing to stay in touch. This could be an absolutely pivotal match. And of course, a bit of spite in it as well with a few players crossing sides. That's exactly right, David. As we look at the starting lineup for South, and we see Stephen O'Dor, our captain, come into the starting lineup. Same with Joe Keenan. They replaced Bradley Norton and Kyle Joria, who are on the substitute bench this evening. And it is going to be a big game here tonight. And it's South on the attack early, putting on good pressure. Jason Trefiro, chance on the right side. Was that a handball? Shouts for it. Hatsi Morates takes the shot. John, I didn't get a good look at that one. What did you make of it? I think it did strike the arm there, David, as we look at the replay. But we do see them not given and given at the same time. Referee waves play on as Hatsi Morates has a good shot from the edge of the area, but it's well saved by Petropolis in goals. Corner for South, Trefiro. Goes long and high and clean balls everybody there. Uh, almost caught the keeper unaware, but no danger in the end. Yeah, keeper uh, was flapping a little bit here, David, but uh, there was no need to worry for Petropolis in goal as the ball sails wide and out for a goal kick. Ball in the area. Good chance now. Keenan back in the starting lineup. Could be dangerous. We know what experience he's got. Keenan. Left foot across the face, Petropolis eventually gets it clear. Still here with Glenn Trefiro. Shot save, Hatsi Moratis. Oh, great chance, but well blocked from close range. You probably need to get just a little bit more on that one. He certainly did, David, as we see the replay here. A little shot from uh, from Trefiro there. Deflects to Hatsi Moratis. He probably should have gone for that right corner. In the end, North defense scrambles and it's out for a corner. Another corner for South. They've had a few. Trefiro again. High up goes Rickson. They're calling for the corner again, but I don't think it is that time. Rickson not getting the direction on that one. Good corner here by Trufiro, right in the mixer. And Trent Rickson, difficult header for him. In the end, it's gone out for a goal kick. It's all been South Melbourne so far, and they've got it back again here. Jason Trufiro, Gasparis. Oh, great chance. Atimurates can't get a good touch. Atimurates again, the shot quite tame. He needed to take it first time there. Unfortunately, just couldn't get the control. Keenan with the corner this time. They've had a few. They go short. Jason Trefiro. It's in again. Ciaris at the back post. Ciaris turns and wins yet another corner. And Northcote are just clinging on here. Surely South Melbourne have got to break through at some point. Well, this is very unfortunate for Joseph Keenan. Back in the side, but it looks like a hamstring injury. On comes Bradley Norton. That's terrible news for South just before halftime. Trefiro goes high across everybody from the back post. Oh, Hatsi Murat has a close range. Another great chance, but he couldn't direct the header, and it's over the bar. Somehow it's still nil-nil. Somehow, David, a great corner here by Trefiro, who finds Tiaris at the back post. His header across goal finds Dimi Hatsi Muratis, who really, really should have done a lot better there. A wasted opportunity right on the halftime break. We're underway now, South Melbourne pressing forward again, but North could go the big clearance. they got a couple of men here and it could be a great chance. Calafatidis has scored, can you believe it, John, from absolutely nowhere. Their first attack of the game, North get one chance, one goal, and they lead 1-0. Great header on here by Vulgaris, who finds Calafatidis with oodles of space and he goes into the bottom corner. That's very disappointing defending by South right after the halftime break, after being so dominant in the first half. Northcote with their first opportunity of the match and they've taken the lead. Well, they might have their backs up here, Northcote. They're looking much more dangerous now with the goal behind them. Another chance and blasted over the bar. Nothing doing that time. But this game all of a sudden has come alive and South Melbourne need to chase it. Gavalis using Jonsson. Jonsson might try something long. And oh dear me, that is a bad tackle from Bulgaris there. He came in very, very late. And well, I think he's quite lucky to just get a yellow card that time. Stephen O'Dor is not happy, and I think rightly so. A bad tackle, John. I think this could have been a red card, David. Uh, we have to have a look at the replay here as Vulgaris comes steaming in on Jonsson, who's played the ball, and it is a very clumsy tackle. In other cases, it could be easily a red card. He's very lucky to stay on the field, Vulgaris. Well, unfortunately, Jonsson won't be staying on the field. He's injured and has to come off. On comes Tommy Matthews, and that, I suppose, is a good sign, John. It's been a few weeks. Northcote, another great chance here. A bit of space. Surely they couldn't double their lead here. Odor tracking back, desperately scrambling here south. The shot, they're screaming for a handball. I think that looked very close. It came off Rodri Payne. Well, John, we might need a replay on this one. At first glance here, David, I think it was a handball on Rodri Payne. Let's have a look here. A shot comes in. Rodri Payne does have the arm up. I think it's pretty clear handball, and South is very lucky to escape without giving away a penalty there. 
Well, last roll of the dice. On comes Jody Donitis. They need an extra striker. They need a goal now more than ever. South Melbourne chasing the game. Payne, he's got to go long now. South need to get it up the other end. He does. He's got Norton. If he can reach O'Dor, the header on. O'Dor will chase. Petropolis comes and collects. Oh, dear. Well, he's gone at the ball there, which he's right to do, John. But did he raise his feet there? I think he did here, David. And as we see, Bradley Norton also gets cleaned up. Now, Petropolis does have the right to get the ball. But uh, there's a bit of a grey area there because he's kicked Stevie O'Dor when going for the challenge. Well, South getting desperate now. Time is running out. Norton, what can he do? Starts going on a bit of a run, taking matters in his own hands. Oh, lovely through ball now. Rickson has blasted away at that one. It's gone wide. I think he's won a corner. Bit of a deflection. Might be a bit lucky there because I don't think that was on target that time. I think it was lucky, David. Uh, Bradley Norton with a great run through midfield and wonderful through ball for Trent Rickson, who really should have done better. Now, in fairness, it did clip a defender and go out for a corner, but Rickson's shot initially I don't think was on target. He really should have done better there. Gasparis, desperation now. Oh, Northcote might have another chance here on a lucky break. Rodri Payne, great tackle. Well, the referee has waved play on and credit to him because the linesman flagged that one blindsided there, John. I think that was a fair call. I think it was a fair call as we look at the replay. Yes, it is a fair call. A fantastic tackle by Rodri Payne and he really had to do that carefully because otherwise Northcote would have an extra man. Last roll of the dice now. The long throw in. Rickson, Danitas! Oh, over the bar. Can you believe it? Nothing has gone right for South Melbourne tonight. That was a glorious chance late. Right in injury time as well, David. A great flick on here by Rickson. And Johnny Danitas, who's just come on, he really should have buried that. That's probably South's last chance. He really should have done better there. Well, South Melbourne, they may not have any time left here. Ciaras hoofs it long. Northgate, they jostle for it in the middle. And yes, there it is. The whistle blows. Devastation for South Melbourne. Their third home loss in a row. They go down 1-0 to Northcote. You can't say they didn't have their chances. They just didn't take them, John. And, well, it's hard to know what to say from here. Exactly right, David. And you summed it up perfectly. We had lots of chances tonight. Northcote had few, but they took their few chances and we didn't. And, unfortunately, we've slumped to another home defeat. That's three in a row and very disappointing stuff indeed.